tell me a bit about your the process of selection. You do that. Um, tell me what you look what you're looking for. I'm looking for. Um, tell me what you look what you're looking for. I'm looking for what I consider to be the proper taste for bourbon. It's going to have the characteristics that good bourbon has. It's going to have vanilla type taste. It's going to have a smooth taste to the to the palate. It's going to have some uh, vanilla. I mentioned that vanilla taste to it, and uh, it's just a good smooth bourbon flavor to it. It's highly flavored, not highly flavored, but it's got a good flavor to it and it don't have a aftertaste burn to it that's the things I, I guard against when I'm tasting it imagine a day that you come in here to the distillery to make some barrel selections uh, <clears throat> on a day when you come in to do so to yeah. select barrels how many barrels do you taste for example how long does that process take it takes, uh, if as you probably would think, if you taste about eight or ten samples, your taste buds begin to become numb. So you've got to take a break. So if there's 25 samples to be evaluated, I'll do about eight or ten of them, and then I'll take a break for a while. And I'll come back and do the rest of them, or come back maybe two two different times. And uh, we do have water available. We rinse our mouth out after each taste test, and uh, after it's tasted, your taste buds primarily are are the most sensitive ones are on the side of your mouth and you kind of wallow the sample around in your mouth and then you spit it out after you've tasted it. You certainly couldn't, couldn't drink all of those samples and get out very well. <coughs> what fraction of the barrels that you taste do you eventually finally choose for the Elmer T. Lee brand? Uh, the last, within the last year, it's been 